Welcome back to Bridge Technologies live IP studio here in Oslo. And it's a beautiful day and we're back after some summer break. Simon, how have you enjoyed your holidays? Oh, absolutely. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Up uh, north, I've heard. Well, uh, yes. Yeah. And how about you? I've been down south and now we've uh, actually met in the middle. So here we go for uh, another show. I thought I would start off. Uh, I enjoy our quizzes. So I thought uh, we would start <laughs> off today with another quiz. So here we go. Here's the question. Uh, which year did the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, or IEEE, publish its paper entitled, here we go, A Protocol for Packet Network Intercommunication? It's, between, it's between 1970 and 80, actually. Oh, really? Mm. Then I will guess it's 1978. OK. Uh, this is also known as transmission control. Uh, program or TCP slash IP. So there we go. L lots of fun facts today. And the answer is it was 1974. Oh, goodness. So there we go. That was uh, fun fact number one. Interesting. And that's the only fun fact, actually. Yes. <laughs> Lay it off. Uh, during our series uh, before the summer holidays, we've been covering the ISM uh, and basically why that's been important for us uh, pre summer. Um, and we've been going through a lot of, uh, lot of what you can see up on, on, on the board here. So uncompressed through compressed. Well, absolutely. And, and the, the reason we talked a lot about it is that we have the whole range of different products in, in that marketplace, SES. And uh, let's not talk about, you know, compressed and compressed because it really doesn't matter that much. It's what you use for a specific purpose. And, and the most important thing is that to differentiate between compressed and uncompressed is basically the bandwidth. Yeah. Because the bandwidth is so d different. We have uncompressed media with ranges from 1.5 gigabit, which is quite a lot of, of data in one single f video flow up to basically uh, uh, 48 gigabit for one uh, flow of, of 8K. And, and that poses incredible challenges for anyone designing uh, a media system over IP. Whilst compressed is a completely different ballgame, then you can go from basically a couple of hundred of megabytes, which is still uh, megabits, which is still, you know, considered fairly large points of data, down to next to nothing, basically. So you can distribute globally if you like. So that's the main differentiator. And there's, there's a, a kind of um, a separation of different types of technologies, even if it's all IP. It's different kind of technologies because you have to scale it quite differently. But apart from that, um, we have, since the beginning of time, created IP equipment that can analyze and monitor, of course, all these different kind of flavors of, of bandwidth, if you like. Because not only is the different kind of bandwidth, there is, I can't begin to name all the different formats that exists in this, this veritable jungle. And we're very, very proud to say that we support the absolute majority. I would say everything, but then again, I can't yeah. because there's so many standards everywhere uh, on, on this planet. But I do believe that uh, we have you uh, covered on, on covered anything. Covered everything, yeah. Yes. I mean, 1974 through to today, and I mean, Bridge, uh, you and Philip discussed uh, the first probe, the, uh, the 10. That was an IP-based uh, probe. Until, Absolutely. Until today. So. And again, it's kind of weird that uh, we, we, we still uh, use the exact same paradigm today. We enable uh, complete understanding of signals where the signal is with remote access and, and remote analytics from where you are. And that is an important differentiation that we did, we did 16 years ago and continue to do to this day. Absolutely. So that was the ISM and uh, I guess we have covered, we 
have covered a lot with the ISM uh, series, but I mean, there's so much more to dig into. And so after the summer, we're going to be doing a whole lot of uh, new uh, shows. I am very excited. I'm excited as well. And we're going to actually get some partners in and you know that, but we'll actually keep on exploring the multitudes of, uh, yes. of products that we have and news and things. Um, I thought that we would do one kind of quiz just in the middle here since we're- Oh, another quiz. Well, I don't Holy Moses, an man. For this one, but uh, yeah, we'll get it. So, I think during the series, we've been explaining um, why something happens. Um, so here's the three things. Is the theme that we've been putting into our shows, is it one, buy it, it just works. Two, don't bolt it on, design it in. Or is it three, why is this important? Holy <laughs> Moses. Um, well, I, I would say uh, why, uh, why this uh, matters actually, yes. uh, because uh, it is a lot of, uh, we, we try to be quite philosophical in our approach to design of any kind of function or, or product. And everybody should pause and, and ask why should this be done? Because one thing is to, to cover a lot of checkboxes. Yes, we can analyze this. Yes, we can analyze that. And also, we can implement functions that actually takes it to a different level, where we can augment the data specificness with features and functions that enables people to work better, to, to deploy these things with uh, much improved uh, knowledge of how day-to-day -day operations actually works. VBC and that is, as well. Oh, we, that's, that's a great that. example yeah. of, of, of a lot of that. So I believe that uh, that is something that is extremely important and, and that's why we, we continue to ask ourselves why this matters. Yeah, no, that's very good and we will yeah, absolutely continue uh, to do that in, uh, in our next series. I think the other thing uh, is we, we've spoken about ISM uh, production, uh, Spoke about OTT as well. Yeah. Um, a number of things. We also spoke about uh, the Nomad. And, uh, yes, Rolf, that's very uh, true. Introduced our, our great portable uh, product. And <laughs> I think um, we opened up with Axel. Yes. And he actually had the uh, the Nomad out in the water. Yes, he has. Very, very portable. But I say. I'd like to find out what happens to it uh, from there. So I think we might uh, hear from Axel again. We saw uh, the Nomad uh, come into view and no Axel, but um, well, I'm pleased to see that they're both... Uh, they're both, they're both well. I, I sincerely <laughs> hope that. Yep. Uh, well, um, the Nomad isn't quite waterproof yet, no. so we won't actually uh, you know, uh, encourage anybody to, to bring it with them Don't on their sailboard. No. <laughs> but but uh, it, it is very rugged and, and, and enabled to be in... <laughs> Not the aquatic uh, kind of environment, but in in, in quite different, uh, in, in quite uh, harsh environments. So, uh, yeah, we'll see when he brings it back. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. we, will, we will indeed. Um, okay, so I mean, again, I mean, we've, we've shown the ISM, uh, we've shown that we have done a whole thing. So, like, where do we go from here? And I think uh, what we're going to do next week is start introducing partnerships. Uh, yes, we're very excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, and we have uh, we have lots of partners that will be uh, will be sharing our uh, well our studio with some, and obviously uh, remotely with others. Uh, and that's just how that, that one is. Um, but our business partners and our partners in general are very important to the makeup of Bridge yep. Technologies. So we'll be introducing them uh, one by one as the weeks come along. So stay tuned to that. The other big news. Yeah. And I think we'll uh, introduce that one now. Uh, yes. The big news is that. Okay, you don't like me talking about webinars anymore. No. And I don't think we will be talking about webinars, so I better use the word webinars one last time because the big news is that uh, webinars don't really cut, uh, cut it for what we're trying to achieve, uh, we believe. Um, so they're, therefore, from starting from next week, henceforth, this will be called The Bridge Show. Oh, very, very cool. 
No, but I, I think that that's the kind of wraps it up, and I believe that uh, uh, we're all on route for for next week. I'm very excited for what what we go to 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 do, and we have a whole autumn of fantastic product releases. Uh, my goodness, uh, we have a, a huge amount of news. We do, we do. So stay tuned, absolutely, uh, to all the news, uh, the partners we've got. We will be, I will release one. We will be meeting with the Peer TV next week. So join us at 1500 next week uh, here. And uh, Simon, thank you again. And over and out from thank you, Tim. Uh, Bridge Technologies, IP Studio. <laughs>